Hey everybody, so talking about max effort upper body session for today. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to hit three sets through um, as our prep work. So I want six yoga push-ups. Once we've done that, six kettlebell or dumbbell high pulls per arm. And you can have a swing in there. Um, if the kettlebell is pretty heavy or the dumbbell is pretty heavy, just get some kind of hip snaps and assistance up with that, uh, with that weight. And then basically two renegade rows per arm, but the stipulation is I want to have a 10 second squeeze at the top of each row. So the yoga push-ups, um, we did them last week, but basically we're going to hit, um, hit up a push-up and then really push back and stretch out the shoulder joint. So it's that in the push-up position here, come up, then drive your hips high and head through for that set of six. Then the high pulls, so we're going to have a dumbbell or a kettlebell from there. Pulling up and back down, but like I say, if it's heavy, it's a swing and a snap up, bam, back down. Then the renegade rows with a hold for 10 seconds. Um, got a kettlebell here. Okay, so it's quite high. Up position, but I'm starting in that position, getting myself set. From there, squeeze. One, two, three, <coughs> all the way through to 10. Repeat for a second rep on that arm, or change arms, two reps through each time. That should be you nice and prime for your upper body session. Um, sorry, it's really sunny again today. Uh, then we're going to go on the strength works. So we're going to keep working the scale of your handstand push-ups that you've got. But this time, we're going to bring in a dead stop. Okay. So what that means is at the bottom of the handstand push-up, you're going to pause for a second and then drive out. Okay. So it's controlled lower, hold, drive out. Um, so there's, there's three options there. Okay, um, and just pick your option, have a little play around as to what you want to go at for today, and then go for it on those options. What I said again, like last week, we'll do some skipping in between uh, during our recovery, just 100 reps, just working through practice. It can be single unders, running on the spot, trying a few double unders, trying some new skills, you go for it. Once we've done that then for part B today, we're gonna do um, 15 seconds on, 45 seconds off for six sets of max effort diamond push-ups is the full scale, or you take that back to um, regular but with a closer grip push-up, um, and then you can scale that back to suit um, you know, elevated position for the push-up, um, or even if you, if you wanna really hit those triceps and sort of the full push-up you can't quite get yet, you, you could even potentially take it down to like um, uh, a knee, knee on the floor push-up or a real controlled lower. Um, in fact, you probably can't do a controlled lower for this because you're looking for max reps. So it's gonna be um, either diamond push-ups or closer grip regular push-ups or a scale thereof, chest elevated or knees on the floor push-ups. Going for a big old set, uh, then recover 45 seconds and see, um, see if you tail off. Um, once we've done that then, we're gonna uh, hit one more thing for part C for today. That's gonna be single arm rows. Um, we're gonna try 40 reps each side, okay? Every time you have to rest um, and put the weight down, you're gonna hit a 15 second perfect hollow hold in between, okay? So I don't count um, sort of rope changing arms in between, that's not necessarily a put down, but if you're under fatigue and you need a rest for a second and therefore you need to put the weight down, full stop, then you hit that hollow hold and then you repeat again. So just going over B and C, um, so the diamond push-ups, make a diamond with my hands from here okay I've got a clock in front of me 15 seconds three two one go <sighs> max reps to 15 seconds then recover 45 seconds then part C for today okay I'm gonna go single arm rows we'll go I'll go in this position here because I've got not got any counter alternative if you've got something you can lean on you can lean on something Working it through, <sighs> got to get 40 on each arm. Five's pretty tough, you can change arm. <sighs> Five each arm was pretty tough then. In case I'm gonna have a rest for a second. I'm gonna get myself set for that hollow position. So, point my toes, feet up in the air, squeeze my shoulders off the mat, then lower to where I can, keeping my belly button in contact, pushing down my lower back in contact with the floor, count to 15, 15 done. Repeat those rows till you get to 40 reps each side, 80 reps in total. Cool, enjoy.